Hi everyone, in this problem we have to work this out and write it in rectangular form. So there's something called uh, De Moore's theorem that says when you have something like this, um, you can do the following. So first let me emphasize that there are parentheses here, it's a little bit unclear, so there we go. So it's three times all of this. So when you raise uh, a product like this to the third power, you can raise the three to the third power, so you get three to the third. And then I'm gonna show an extra step here. You get cosine of 30 degrees plus I sine of 30 degrees, like this. Okay, good stuff, just like that. All right, so the three cubed is 27. And now here's the trick. Whenever you have something like this, what you can do is you basically take the three and you multiply it by the angles, okay? So the first one would be cosine, let's see, three times 30 is 90 degrees plus, and then this would be I, sine of, and then three times 30 again is 90 degrees. Good stuff. So you just take the number and you multiply it by the angle. That always works, okay? It's called, uh, it's called De Moyer's theorem. It's a very, very powerful uh, strategy. So actually, De Moyer's theorem says that you can go from here to here, right? So you, you cube the three and you do, you do it all. So this is equal to 27. So what is the cosine of 90? Let's think. So on the unit circle, this is 90 degrees. And every ordered pair is of the form cosine theta, comma, sine theta. So we're here. So at this ordered pair, the ordered pair would be 0, comma, 1. So cosine is the x-coordinate. So this would be 0 plus, and then the y-coordinate is 1. That's the sine, so plus i times 1. So this is equal to 27i, and that would be the final answer. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.